Hi everyone, just a quick intro to this video just to explain the new mini mail format. As most of you know, my mail tends to pile up in between videos and that means my projects sit there stalled and that's no fun. So I'm going to start going with a new format where I do only six packages per video and I can produce more videos, therefore I can get through my mail quicker. So I hope you enjoy the new format. Catch you later. Hey everyone, welcome to Unexpected Mini Mail number one. Let's get started. I'm going to open with the Core Electronics package this time. After my last video where I mentioned that I don't actually buy from them that often, I seem to be buying from them a lot at the moment. There's a few goodies in here. One, two, three, great. Let's start with these servos. These are the FS 90R, they're continuous rotation servos. I've got two of those. I have a, an idea for a project. It's actually a really cool idea if I can pull it off. The problem is it's a mechanical project and I've never really built a full mechanical microcontrol project yet. Um, I have enough parts over on my shelf to maybe build 20 robots and cars, but I've never actually got around to building anything. So I'm looking to what these are for yet, but if I can pull this off, be something very very exciting but they needed continuous motion I, I yeah I also got a pack of little wheels I'm actually going to put, open this up right now so these are car wheels okay they're actually for this project as well if it's suitable I needed some small wheels I thought they were rubber but they're actually plastic hmm okay they're 32 by 7 mil so they're okay they're not the smallest wheels you can get that might be okay with the project. Oh, of course. What am I thinking? I thought there were four wheels in there. There's actually two, and they come with little rubber wheels. Let's get it on. Oh, I never do stuff like this on video, folks. Ah, oh, that's better. Perfect. I need something that's got traction, that's got friction. That's actually really cool. Okay, great. The last thing is, dun, dun, dun. it's a long extension cable for my Pi Cam to complete all the parts I need to put my camera on my Prusa Mark III. So, look forward to a video coming up with that shortly. Next, I actually thought it was squished when I first got it, but it's just the way they packaged it. It's got that lovely box smell. Oh, it's a reel or something. Holy moly. It's a reel of 80 tiny 85s. How many are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's 60! Oh my god, can I read? 60 pieces. Shoot me in the head now. 60, 80 tiny, 85s, 20 SUs, the same as my other ones. Woohoo! I am swimming in 80 tiny, 85s. Okay, this one is, okay, well that's obvious what's in here. AP2112Ks, these are 3.3 voltage regulators. These are the ones I use on all of my projects. I love them. So I got a whole bunch of these in a strip. I might just next time buy them in a reel of a thousand. I'm going through quite a few. So all of my microcontroller projects are using these. My SP32 boards, my Reflow Master boards. Basically anything that needs a voltage regulator for 3.3 volts, I use this particular I see. I love it. It's my favorite. Next, we have spring test probes. Yes! Now, I've ordered two types of these probes. I don't know which ones these are. Let's find out. Wow, they're tiny. Okay, let's see if I can open them up so I can show you. Wow, got to be very careful. These are 100 of the spearhead ones. Oh, how cool is that? Let me just get a PCB. Hang on a second. Okay, here's a bunch of my 80 tiny devs, my tiny dev boards. I actually got these for this project. So they are designed to go get my six pin program header. I'm going to make a programming board using these pogo pins to be able to program these boards and not use the clamp that you've seen in my previous video. So that way I'll have a clamp version, I'll have a a jig with pogo pins and then I'll also have the ability to solder in just a six pin header. Lots of different options. I've never used pogo pins before but quite exciting. The other versions I got are the not the spearhead but the sharp point head. 
they're the ones that you could actually make them touch a pad. They don't actually require a hole. They're, they're actually too thin to go through a hole. Excellent. Next, we have description of contents, connectors. What will that be? Oh, cool. Look at that. Speaking of six pin program headers, I have 100 six pin program headers. Once again, these are for my AT Tiny 85 boards. So I'll be supplying one of these with every Tiny Dev board that I sell on Tindy, but I won't be soldering them on. I'm going to leave them off. I'll do all the surface mount soldering, but if you want to put the header on, you'll have to solder that on yourself. Because not everyone's going to require a header. Not everyone's going to want to have one on their board, depending on where their board needs to fit in their project. Okay, one more to go. See, as I said, mini mail, nice and quick. And plastic sheet. It's called a plastic sheet again. The last time I got something in a plastic sheet, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I'm pretty sure it was, was it LEDs? Are these LEDs? What are these? It's a something. It's a lot of something. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> plastic sheets. Look at that. These are pin headers. They're stapled together. Okay, well, these are just standard pin headers. As you can see, the standard height. I've got a whole bunch of those because I'm just running out. I use them quite a lot. But I also got, also stapled, let's see if I can get one out though. These are also pin headers, but these are the long ones. Now, if anyone's been following the video between David Watts and myself, check out my last one just about there. I was talking about potentially mounting my LED filaments off the board. And so I now have a whole bunch of tall ones, depending on how high I want to mount those off the board. I can actually go standard height off the board or super tall off the board. I wonder how much use these will come in, not just with the Siglament displays, but with other things. So I've got a whole stack of those just in case, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to use them. Even if I don't go this full length, I'll still be able to cut them back if I want to, but having them considerably taller than these ones to start with gives me a lot more flexibility. And that's it. That's everything. That's my first unexpected mini mail. This is going to be an epic project if I can pull it off. If I can pull it off. I have my doubts. I've told a few people about what I'm wanting to do and they thought it was an amazing idea, but I just don't know if I can do it. Definitely won't work first time or second time, but you know me. Try, try again. Until next time, bye.